welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cece. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Guys, it's absolutely freezing. Oh my goodness. They actually did say that it's going to be snowing in a couple of days. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I am finally off to Starbucks to have a taste of their festive drinks. Every year they always bring out different drinks um, for the festive period and they also have signature ones as well. So I will go there and see and decide which ones um, I am going to try. Um, and I always go to Starbucks because um, the very first shares that I ever bought were actually Starbucks shares. <laughs> we're talking about like, how long has it been now? 12, 13 years maybe, it's been ages. It wasn't a lot that I bought actually, it was just like 100 pounds. Then for me, it was a lot of money. And so whenever I go to Starbucks, as far as I'm concerned, I am making a contribution towards the value of my shares. <laughs> Most of the time when I go there, I order the Greek tea. So when I walk in today, they'll actually be surprised that I'm actually ordering something different. I'm going to have a look at their Christmas menu and um, the thing is most of the drinks are actually um, milk based but then hopefully they can veganize them for me um, although they have released a couple of um, drinks that are actually vegan I can't remember what they're called but I'll have a look on their website and put it somewhere here for you guys just in case you're also vegan and you wanted to try the new vegan one but anyway let me just go there and uh, have a look at their menu and then choose something and then um, hopefully they can make it with plant milk for me so um, it's the festive period everyone's out doing their Christmas shopping all the Christmas lights are out as well yeah so it's raining it's just that weather <laughs> and I'm just under my umbrella now that I've come out of the shopping mall and um, because Starbucks is actually just outside and um, at least it doesn't look too busy inside because I don't like to film when there's a lot of people inside because I don't want anyone else to be in the video that doesn't want to be in it so uh, but it's just over here let's just give it a try what's in there I really like this gold cup <laughs> so they've got quite a few new ones and I do have a couple of Starbucks cups um, and they do last a, a very long time I generally like to use them all the time because obviously they're reusable and um, it's better than using a paper cup because you know with the paper cup you just use it once and then you throw it away so it's not really good for the environment so I like to use the reusable ones these keep your drink warm for a very long time as opposed to um, just using a paper cup so they're kind of like a flask so they tend to hold um, the heat for a bit longer. Starbucks also gives you 25p off um, for every drink that you buy um, when you're using your own cup so you also get to save a few pennies. <laughs> Starbucks holiday drinks have become a beloved tradition, adding a touch of festive cheer to their menu each year. The history of Starbucks holiday drinks dates back to the introduction of the iconic um, peppermint mocha, which was in 2002. So this minty chocolate drink became the seasonal favorite, signaling the start of the Starbucks annual holiday drinks. Starbucks has introduced a variety of holiday themed drinks um, each created to embrace the warmth and the joy of the season so classics like gingerbread latte and the eggnog latte have been a, a favorite um, and each of these drinks actually has a perfect blend of seasonal spices and flavors Starbucks also embraces cultural influences in its holiday drinks including uh, unique creations which are inspired by different winter traditions from around the world so after having a look at the menu I actually decided to have the famous gingerbread latte <laughs> but obviously I have the vegan one so this one was actually made of oat milk and it's got a soya frothy cream 
um, so I just sprinkled a bit of chocolate on it um, and I do like that anything that's actually on their menu they can actually use plant-based milk so I don't get to miss out um, and um, I think the other thing is because I love cinnamon so the gingerbread latte actually has quite a lot of this cinnamon flavor which I absolutely enjoy the specific recipes and ingredients for Starbucks drinks um, including the gingerbread latte actually vary depending on the region um, so um, this one actually has a uh, espresso it's got oat milk it's got gingerbread syrup and the whipped cream which is the vegan whipped cream the limited availability of these holiday drinks has actually turned them into highly anticipated treats for people that go to Starbucks um, and they create a sense of community a sense of excitement among coffee lovers and you can actually see um, Starbucks commitment to quality and innovation in these holiday drinks because um, they continually experiment with new flavors and new combinations just to surprise and delight their customers during the festive season Starbucks also has these cards that you can use um, just as a gift so you can load the card with some money and give it to someone or you can actually use it to pay uh, for your coffee. I actually used to collect these cards years ago but then after a while I got bored of it but um, I know of several people that actually collect them from different parts of the world and people that actually exchange the different cards because um, you'll find that the cards that are in the UK are different from the cards that are in America or the cards that are in South Africa or the cards that are in Canada. These cards have become more than just a means to pay for your favorite drink. They are also a unique form of artistic expression and a collectible item for many um, enthusiasts. They are made out of paper or plastic and feature various designs often tied to special occasions, season and even collaborations. Collecting Starbucks cards has turned into a hobby for a lot of people who appreciate the creativity and the artistry that goes into the card designs. Uh, some of these cards feature intricate illustrations, seasonal motifs, um, local culture so they make them quite appealing to collectors worldwide and starbucks um, always releases new designs to keep the collection fresh and exciting and some of the cards even become rare and um, are sought after amongst um, avid collectors So I feel nice and warm after having my gingerbread latte. They actually do have a couple of uh, specific new vegan ones, um, but I just decided to stick with something that I've heard is quite good. And um, yeah, I loved it. And only because I also like cinnamon. So um, obviously I <laughs> had to go for that one because I love cinnamon. Um, but I'm gonna try and do it at home. Um, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find the recipe and do my own uh, version of the Starbucks um, vegan gingerbread latte. Um, yeah, so oh, let me go and do a bit of shopping. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite drink is and see you in the next one.